medical colleges. But excellent Indian doctors were denied positions they deserved. This was the time of India's struggle for independence. This is the story of a nation's pride. Sait Gordandas Sundardas Medical College and King Edward Memorial Hospital were born out of the need of the nation to assert pride in itself. When Dr. K. N. Bahadurji was denied the post of Professor of Medicine at the Grant Medical College in favour of a much lesser qualified British officer, he approached Sir Firo Shah Mehta and other members of the Bombay Municipal Corporation and advocated the establishment of a new medical college staffed by Indians. In 1909, the Municipal Corporation decided that the time had come for the provision of a fully equipped hospital to meet the growing needs of the north of the island. It was thought that the hospital would be a fitting tribute to the memory of the recently deceased King Edward VII, and an initial sum of rupees five and a half lakhs was raised by the Bombay Presidency King Edward Memorial Association. The Government of Bombay donated 50,000 square yards of land on the estate of the Government House at Perel, which had once served as the Governor's official residence and now housed the Hafkin Institute. When Sait Gordandas Sundardas, a wealthy cloth merchant and the grandson of Mulji Jeta died, Sir Feroz Shah Mehta, Justice Sir Narayan Chandavarkar and Sir Chimanlal Settlewad had helped to settle the distribution of his property. As a token of gratitude, the heirs of the estate of Sait Gordandas offered rupees 12 lakhs, which was later increased to rupees 14 and a half lakhs for endowing a medical college named after him. The Bombay Municipal Corporation, in an amendment, proposed that all the staff should consist of only Indian doctors. This was opposed by the then British Commissioner, Mr. Arbuthnot, on the basis that such an amendment was racist in nature. The resolution was passed in any case and the Commissioner assured that the salaries being offered were so low that no European would accept such an appointment. The architect George Whittet, who had already designed the Gateway of India, GPO and the Prince of Wales Museum, was appointed to plan the new hospital. The Sait G.S. Medical College, the 12th medical college in the country, opened its doors on 1st of June, 1925, and it was affiliated to the University of Bombay. Dr. Jivraj Mehta was the first dean. The hospital, with 125 beds, started admitting patients on 15th of January, 1926. A college which began with 46 students, six of them women, now annually has on its rolls about 2,000 students in medical and various allied specialties, including physical and occupational therapy. A hospital which began with 125 beds, 274 inpatients and 3,300 outpatients in the first year has now evolved into a giant with 1,800 beds where 68,000 inpatients and 1.8 million outpatients are treated annually. Funded mainly by the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai, these institutions render yeoman service, mostly to the underprivileged sections of society. And there's a complex network of people who are all interlinked in the service of humanity. 
the college has always produced quality health care professionals and the contributions made by these institutions and its doctors have created history with a number of firsts to their credit be it occupational therapy plasma fractionation research publications collaboration with ayurved transplant surgery ivf development of drugs such as rovulfia diethylcarbamazine and liposomal amphotericin b innovations in cardiovascular catheterization open heart surgery and cardiac electrophysiology it has the highest rated website for medical colleges in asia and the only department of sexology for a billion people several path breaking projects were commissioned in the platinum jubilee year the unique emergency medical services with advanced facilities for management of emergency cases the first center in western india for stereotactic and epilepsy surgery a thalassemia center and the intranet which connects the various departments through a local area network to the internet with online educational resources and email services the year culminated with the visit of the honorable president of india shri k r narayanan at the inauguration of gosumeet an international scientific conference held on the campus in december 2001 as for the future other professionals may wish to predict but it is a matter of fact that the doctors who graduate from this college are acknowledged as some of the best in the world they represent the future of medical care and it is of utmost importance therefore that they be familiar with the latest advances in medicine the hospital serves millions of patients and though there can be no substitute for good clinical acumen it is essential that our institutions should have state of art facilities so that society at large and especially the poor continue to benefit all these can be achieved only with the help of our well wishers and though we reach for the sky some things reassuringly will always remain the same the glory of an institution rests on its traditions good traditions are difficult to establish and harder still to sustain the enthusiasm for the new has never been at the expense of the trustworthy old set gordanda sundardas vaidyakiya mahavidyalay ani raje satve edward smarak rugnalay ya sanlagna sansthancha sthapanecha ha spurti dayak itihas आणि त्यानंतरची पंच्याण्णव वर्षांची गौरवशाली परंपरा आजच्या या वर्धापन दिनी संस्थेमध्ये उपलब्ध असलेल्या नवीन उपचार पद्धती वैद्यकीय शिक्षण त्यांची आधुनिक तंत्रज्ञानाशी घातलेली सांगड संशोधन आणि समाजाभिमुख सेवा यांचा उल्लेख आपल्यासाठी नक्कीच प्रेरणादायी ठरतोय उपचार पद्धती केशविहीनता आणि कोड या रोगांसाठी लेझरद्वारे उपचार उपलब्ध आहेत ब्रेन स्ट्रोकच्या रुग्णांमध्ये डिजिटल सबट्रॅक्शन एन्जिओग्राफीमुळे अठरा ते चोवीस तासांपर्यंत देखील उपचार करणे शक्य झाले आहे अशा दोन अद्ययावत यंत्रांच्या सहाय्याने तज्ज्ञांनी केलेल्या उपचारांचा रुग्णांना मोठा लाभ मिळत आहे जन्मत कमी वजन असलेल्या नवजात शिशूंची वाढ आणि विकास होण्यास सहाय्यकारक ठरलेलं हे कांगारू मदर केअर सेंटर महात्मा ज्योतिबा फुले जन आरोग्य सेवेचा लाभ जुलै दोन हजार बारापासून अनेक लाभार्थींना मिळाला आहे वैद्यकीय शिक्षण व उपचार यामध्ये तंत्रज्ञानाचा उपयोग काही रुग्णांना त्यांचे निदान आणि उपचार याबाबतीत मार्गदर्शन करण्यासाठी टेलिमेडिसिन या माध्यमाचा उपयोग आपल्या रुग्णालयात केला जात आहे दूरस्थ आणि रुग्णालयात येऊ न शकणाऱ्या रुग्णांसाठी हे माध्यम वरदानच ठरले आहे नॅशनल मेडिकल कॉलेज नेटवर्कच्या उपक्रमाअंतर्गत आपले वैद्यकीय महाविद्यालय रिजनल रिसोर्स सेंटर आहे आणि त्यामुळे आपल्या आणि देशातील व देशाबाहेरील इतर संस्थांमध्ये होणाऱ्या कार्यशाळा व्याख्याने 
यामध्ये व्हिडिओ कॉन्फरन्सिंगच्या माध्यमातून सहभागी होऊन ज्ञानाची देवाणघेवाण करणे सहज शक्य झाले आहे शरीर विच्छेदनाचे प्रात्यक्षिक सभागृहात बसूनही पाहता येऊ शकते ई क्लासरूम मुळेही विद्यार्थ्यांचा फायदा झाला आहे समाजाभिमुख सेवा दूरध्वनीच्या माध्यमातून मानसिक आधार आणि जगण्याची नवी उमेद देणारी हितगुज ही हेल्पलाईन अहोरात्र कार्यरत आहे समाजाच्या वेगवेगळ्या स्तरातील आणि क्षेत्रातील व्यक्तींसाठी कॉम्प्रेशन ओनली लाईफ सपोर्टचे प्रशिक्षण दिले जाते या प्रशिक्षणामुळे सार्वजनिक ठिकाणी अनेकांचे प्राण वाचण्यास मदत झाली आहे बर्न्समधून वाचलेल्या मुलांसाठी आशा किरण हे देशातलं एकमेव असं शिबिर आहे यामध्ये या मुलांना एकत्र आणून चित्रकला हस्तकला क्रीडा याद्वारे त्यांचा आत्मविश्वास वाढवला जातो यामध्ये आपल्या संस्थेचा सक्रिय सहभाग आहे कोविडच्या साथीमध्ये रुग्णांवरील उपचार आणि प्रतिबंधात्मक उपाययोजना यामध्ये आपल्या संस्थेने मोलाचे योगदान दिलेच आहे याशिवाय आपल्या रुग्णालयात असलेल्या कोविड रुग्णांची माहिती त्यांच्या नातेवाईकांपर्यंत पोचावी आणि त्यांना मानसिक आधार मिळावा यासाठी हेल्पलाईन सुरू करण्यात आली आहे कोविडमधून बऱ्या झालेल्या रुग्णांमध्ये भविष्यातील गुंतागुंत टाळण्यासाठी दिली जाणारी ही पोस्ट कोविड केअर कोविड लसीवरील संशोधनात आपली संस्था सहभागी झाली कोविड लसीकरणालाही आपल्या रुग्णालयात सुरुवात झाली आहे याशिवाय कोविड संबंधीचे इतर संशोधनही आपल्या रुग्णालयात करण्यात येत आहे कोविड रुग्णांशी संबंधित सर्व डेटा अँड्रॉइड ॲपद्वारे डिजिटाईज करण्यात आला आहे नजीकच्या भविष्य काळातील योजना फिटल मेडिसिन थ्री टेस्ला एम आर आय सी टी स्कॅन डिजिटल एक्सरे मशीन्स आणि पुरंदरे स्टेडियमचं अद्यतनीकरण धन्यवाद